far with five points in play. I might be tempted. But then again, I'm not Liam Watson. Let's see what happens. The instruction, I believe, is to go for it. Now. Six Corkman. Donald Lowe comes way off his line. Stopped by Tom Kenny, it would appear. And gone out for 65. Just watch this again. Look at Donald Logue, way off his line. Here comes the shot. And Tom Kenny just, I think, closed his eyes and put out the hurley. Yeah, I think he was using a little bit of his soccer skills there. He was putting a little bit of top spin on it, but the only problem was that he didn't get it above the crossbar to bring, bring it down. But again, fair play. They stood up, they took the responsibility and had a go for a goal. And those are things you have to do when you're trailing by five or six points in an all quarter quarterfinal. Important now that they sco to score this and not lose the momentum or not be regretting that they didn't take the point you know, and keep them in touch. Neil McManus going to take this. And considering his performances so far from the freeze, well, then I'd expect almost this to be tapped over as well. It's important for it to go over, says Pete Finity, and it sails between the posts. Seven points for Neil McManus. Back to six points between the teams again. James McCaig was fouling big Michael Cusson. That's a free for Cork. Let's see the incident again. Yeah, James McCaig is struggling with the power and size of our big Michael Cusson and just came into his back there bit overzealous and give away the free. John Gardner here. Has already scored from way out the field. He's going to repeat the dose with his second point. Very valuable player. A player that will give you two or three points every day from right half back. An incredible player and having a fantastic year as well. Eight years of Cork senior into county hurler. Made his first appearance against Limerick back in 2002. Oh, good hands. Great catch by Simon McCrory. Makes an angle for himself, but the finish is poor. Disappointing. Good fielding here, though. That was a great by catch McCrory. by Simon, yeah. With those are the opportunities you have to be putting away to stay in touch with Cork. Seven points in it now again. Big puck out from Donald Cusick. Fraggy Murphy. Oh, nice stick work. And as a result of that little piece of skill, made a lot of space for himself and scores a fine point. His third of the day. Just watch this now. Yeah, lovely little touch of skill here. Step inside, open up the space and score. But again, Sean DeLarge had that ball, should have caught it, came to it first, uh, lost possession and Cork get the score. Neil McManus again going up for it. Tom Kenny has lost his hurl. Picked up here by Kieran Heron. Dropping it in. Easy ball for Donalo Cusick. Swings it down to Niall McCarthy in front of the Hogan. Charge down. Niall McCarthy acknowledges that Neil McManus was going for the ball, but it is a free for Cork. Yeah, Don Log's vision is still as good as ever. He spotted Niall McCarthy here down under the Hogan stand and Niall didn't have to take a step left or right. The ball came straight down on top of him. Dennis Walsh thinking about options. The momentum that Antrim showed about six or seven minutes ago seems to have been lost on the moment for Antrim as Cork and John Gardner take another free and another score. Three points now for the right half back from the Pierschig, the north side of Cork City. James McCaig. Tom Kenny.
flicks it on. Well cut out this time by Barry McFall. Shane McNaughton. McKeegan. Flicking it inside to Liam Watson, who continues to pose the biggest threat. Lobbing this in. And the umpires watch it all the way. And Liam Watson is giving certainly a performance in Croke Park. Six points, all of them, from play. And he's doing it with ease. If he didn't have an Antrim jersey on, he could easily be playing with Cork or Galway or Tipperary. As good as what you'd see. Cork have made a change. This is Patrick Horgan that's coming on. And the player that's coming off is a Saki O'Halping. Well gathered by Johnny Campbell. Shane McNaughton willing to run and take on John Gardner. Good running again off the ball by Johnny Campbell. That's a pretty good effort by the centre half back from Lock Eel. They haven't won a county title in County Antrim since 1982 when they went on to win the All-Ireland Club title. Jim Nelson, manager of the team in 1989, is now manager of Lock Eel. So Johnny Campbell, who's lost six county finals in a row, will be hoping for success at club level. He's really done well there with a fine point. Michael Cusson tries to return the compliment to his marker by scoring, but still hasn't put his name on the score sheet. Puck out by Chris O'Connell. Out towards Barry McFall. Under pressure from Nocton. Shane McNaughton. Liam Watson gets into the action. With Niall McCarthy. As Antrim are going to make another change. This is Michael Heron. From the Law of Jarrog Club. And he's going to be coming on. For James McCaig. So a change again in the Antrim lineup. <laughs> Means the Heron brothers are now on the field. Michael and Kieran. Barry McFall backfires Shane McNaughton. Nice stick work. Gives it inside to the substitute. Michael Heron, great ball inside, there's a chance. Don't look, Cusick gets a touch. PJ O'Connell, Antrim have to go back outside, but it's a terrible ball from PJ. Out first, John Gardner. Tom Kenny, well blocked by Barry McFall. Little push on the back, referee agrees. Fouled was Carl McKeegan. And every now and then, Antrim step up a gear. But here was a real goal-scoring opportunity. Neil McMahon has got a touch. Cusick did well. Yeah, great catch by Neil McMahon. And probably should have tried to hit it low on the ground rather than throwing it up in front of where the hurley, hurleys were. But again, Cork stuffed out the danger. But it's good that Antrim have got a free over. If they get a point out of it, at least they'll feel that they're eating away into, in, into the lead. Neil McManus again, dead straight in front of the post. Simple tap over for him. That's eight points that he has now scored. He scored eight times against Dublin, all of them from freeze, and he's repeated that level of performance against Cork. Don Logue is aiming for Niall McCarthy quite a lot. Ben O'Connor robbing his opposite number 10, Simon McRory, rather easily. Subsequently fouled. That's a free in for Cork Denny Cahill who continues